Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. What's up, everybody? It's Robert Kelly. Welcome to the Regs. We got Joe List. We got Dan Soda. Louis J. Gomez. We're back for another episode. We can't hear ourselves through the microphones. You can't? I can hear you. I can hear hear myself. You can't hear me. I can hear Jimmy. I can hear hear me. Sorry, guys. That was your own volume knob. No, it was unplugged. So go fuck yourself. (laughs) We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. What's up, guys? How you doing? We're back, and we've been back for 40 minutes. Nice. Yes. Joe's been here for an hour. Yeah. And we're black. Nope. Nope. No what way. would you do if you were black? I did want to sing the rest of that. Play if basketball. You, I'm black. Well. And I don't know my dad. That's my happy. <laughs> black. Mm-hmm. Black in the New York crew. I'm black. And I don't know my dad. I used to, when I used to play um, Warzone ah. on chat with other people, I'd hear it's a black guy, and I would sing that to him. Warzone. And I'd be like, yo, man, I know my dad. I was like, sure you do. <laughs> Damn. Good machine gun. That was good. Uh, that I do one, good that guns. The second one wasn't as good I as the first think one. I'm, by the way, <laughs> I looked at the comments. What was that? You guys are all wrong about the helicopter. What did I say? I think I said it was pretty good. We're not going to do the helicopter bit again. But I'm doing a gun. I'm setting up the gun. Do okay. the gun. It's pretty good. Was that 50 cal? I got a gun. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's what an explosion. That? It's a rifle. That's a fucking... A rifle? That's dynamite. How about Dummy. this? How about this? Oh, I got one. No. Ping. Ready? I got one. It's a BB gun. That's good. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. BB guns don't go... That hurt through my shirt. Yeah. No, they go, though. They go poop. <laughs> they don't go poop. They go poop. They don't go poop. The fuck happened to us? How about this? <laughs> Ding. I do a good uh, AK. Men. It's pretty good. I do a good a helicopter gun. I do a Tommy gun. It's pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> is that everyone listening gun? to this episode is punching something right now? <laughs> I know they're not. They're trying yep. to do. They're actually trying I, to do gun sounds. I 100%. do a. I do a good Tommy Morrison. I'm like, oh, I'm dying of AIDS. Uh, that was from good. Rocky. <laughs> yeah. He died oh, yeah. of AIDS. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I, I like it. I like what? It. Ah, dude, come on. That yeah. was a good AIDS. I was the first joke attempted today, yeah. so yeah. at least I'm trying, boys. That was a good AIDS. I like a nice AIDS joke. <sighs> I miss <sighs> AIDS jokes. Who can say what AIDS stands for? Besides adios infected dick sucker, what does AIDS actually mean? Audio be? immune. Audio? <laughs> ah, big fun of Dan. Auto immune. Auto immune deficiency. Sucker. Syndrome? Sucker. Yeah, but Dan did say audio. I, I misspoke. You said audio. Anal mis- intercourse does suck. S- no, it doesn't. <laughs> it feels good. I love yeah, it. you do. You're a real fucking butt fan. Would you rather fuck someone in the ass or get fucked in the ass? What? What is this? Can't topic? do both. Are we doing topics off the of guy? The- <laughs> Yeah, of course. No, yeah, what is this? Like, women don't is have this butt? one of those interviews on the street that you see on Instagram now? I don't do butt sex with girls unless they're really into it. And then if they're like, oh, I'm really into butt sex, I'm like, I can never love you. So it's a weird thing. I you make never, or make that choice? I will never have butt sex with a woman that I will ever marry. I agree. If I put my cock in your ass. Yep, you're done. You're done. You're what done. kind of weird Islamic law is that? Sorry, I'll do it. It's not. It's not halal. <laughs> uh, I agree, dude. You don't. You don't fuck your wife in the ass. No. No. Not no. my wife. That's for sure. No. Why? You, you never done no. anal with Sarah? I've never done anal. You've never done anal. You've never done anal in your never life. Stop it. With a never, girl? Never done anal. You're lying. I know somebody. Yeah, with, I, with a dude. <laughs> I, know, I know somebody you did it with. No. Yeah. I know for a fact I've never done. I it. talked to somebody and they said that you did it with them. Who? My mom. No, what? Dude. What? Man. He does it nice. <laughs> Who? <Squeak. laughs> like I can barely feel it. It's so loose. Yeah. I go, Whoa. I go, Ooh, this Am I in? <laughs> this is definitely not your first rodeo, <laughs> Mrs. Kelly. Do you like? Uh, you've never. You've. You like anal at all? Uh, I like. If a girl's into it and I'm pleasuring her with anal, I'm like, oh, what a pig, and I fucking. You know, but you don't like it for yourself. You'd rather not. You get mad. I like. I here's the thing. I like to put a finger in the butt. I like oh, yeah. fucking, you know, get your finger jamming all the way in there. Mm-hmm. Just, uh, which one? 
Is it this one? I do the thumb at first. Do you first, do it like that? And then I switch to the middle finger at one point if I want to get deep. I do this. I do this finger. And then sometimes you feel little solid little things in there. I go, like, oh, I can't. I look. do a little scorpion tail. Yeah, I do. I do this finger right here. <laughs> in the butt. In the butt, I do that back? finger like that. You can't that. move it back you do in the that? butt. I do that inside the butt. There's no like reason that. for that. Yeah, I like it. That's I, for you. I like to get in there and get a G spot. Well, that's not G spot. Oh, sorry. That's a guy's G spot. Sorry, I, I fucked up. Bobby just keeps giving away clues that he's having gay sex. Uh, <laughs> he goes, and then he just pushes back. I made love strong. in a woman's butt one time, and when I pulled my penis out, there was a seed, Blech. like a burger seed. Yeah. And wow. I flicked it Ses- and it hit the wall. Sesame. A sesame, yeah. And it hit the wall, and it's. Why did down. she have sesame seeds? Because she went to McDonald's well, and had say, a Big Mac. He, he did say open sesame. Because I took her on a date. <laughs> that's why. <Yeah. laughs> open sesame. She's like, let me get it out. <laughs> it's on your dick. Mm-hmm. I fucked a girl one time. I'm in the <laughs> pussy, but I had fucked. Her that, ass. that looked like you were lying. But how long you did you? I had her in her pussy. <laughs> I had sex with a girl in her mm. pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a forty-year-old virgin. Yeah, we said it's like they felt like two. We were talking about tits. Yeah, it's like they felt like two bags of sand. <laughs> yeah. That was the whole premise of the movie. They had that. That was a sketch. It was, that was just, just a sketch based on a guy who was a virgin at a poker game, and then they made the whole movie. Nerd alert. <laughs> Ding, ding, ding. There we go. We get a movie fact. Hanan and Joe talk fucking gay <laughs> anal sex. You, f- you know, the, uh, the uh, premise of the movie. Did you know the director and the director commentary? Yeah. They I actually kind of found that informative. Of course you did. Yeah. Neutral. No, fuck. fucking Lewis lit up. Switzerland. Pull back the tape. <laughs> you really are about Switzerland. <laughs> Show the Storm tape. Chaser. Lewis is like, what? Storm. I will repeat <laughs> that <laughs> fact on another podcast. Yeah. That's my own. <laughs> fucking homos. <laughs> Doggy, uh, I fucked a girl in the pussy. And Whoa. When she... Came, I swear to God, these are all facts. When she came, just from penetration, or you were touching things? I was just fucking her doggy style from penetration. That's a lie. Doesn't happen. What myth? What women don't fuck from just penetration? Natalie. She, no, she's yeah, a lesbian. She, she hasn't they got to rub their pussies her. together yeah. like exactly. this. Exactly. They have to That's scissor crazy. for They have to hours. build a birdhouse before they <laughs> yeah. can come. Yeah. yeah. They have to make their own soap. Yeah. Women can't come just from. Fucking. Yes, they can. It's all yes, bullshit. Maybe she might have been fingering herself. Who knows? But. No, she, they can, they can, they can get fucked in the. No, can, I've made by a girl. the way, they can come vaginally. They Dr. Come Drew has said that. Dr. Drew also said, "Fucking, you know, what? I'm gay." But well, you right. are gay. Maybe they can. So My wife can't. I fucked a girl in the pussy, mm-hmm. and she's a comic. Won't say who. <laughs> we know who it is. No, you don't. Yeah, you know yeah we comics? do. Do you know how many comics I've had? Sex How many? With? A lot. I, I have a list them. above my bed. <laughs> That's what you drew. The list, list. <laughs> the list, list. It's like list. Well, Lewis's list. How many, how many female comics have I had sex with? I can sound, we count them while you guys talk in a minute. But this one in particular, mm-hmm. I was fucking in the pussy. And when she came, uh-huh. she shit out an exact replica of a Hershey's kiss. Like the same size. Like, like I'm fucking her doggy style. It pooped out of her butt. It landed on my dick as I was fucking her. And it was a little Hershey's kiss I'm sitting on my throw. dick. I'm going to throw And then I was like, I, I mean, I didn't know. I was Did it like, taste like a Hershey kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Doggy, I didn't know what to. So at that point, I'm going like, I don't want to tell her because it's going to embarrass the fuck out of her. Wrap it in tinfoil. So, yeah, <laughs> give it back to her. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in a dish on the side of the table. Yes, don't move, don't move. I got to get tinfoil. Doggy, so then she. Uh, Did you take a picture of it? No, I didn't. I um surprised. But then I, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> no, it, it's on Stitch or what? I couldn't think of the. It bucket. smelled, and I didn't know what to Snapchat. do. I was like, "There's no." I was like, "There's no getting rid of it now." Like, what would have to happen in that moment is I have to like <laughs> secretly take her shit and hide it from her, which is weirder than just telling her. So then I was like, uh, "You had to balance it into the bathroom and throw it in the trash." It can. was crazy. I, there was no. There was no getting rid of this shit without her knowing. Was she? she re- have... How was she reacting? Was she going? Whoo! She <laughs> so much. I felt like a match. <laughs> <laughs> she lit a match. <laughs> just whoa. <laughs> Oh, you really <laughs> fucked the shit out of here. <laughs> oh. Did you tell her? Oh, I, I told her. What'd she say? I feel like I took a dump. Ooh. She was mortified. She must have had some sense. She must be poop. mortified right now because she knows she's listening. No, she's not listening, but I'll yeah. tell her. There's I'll also tell her, like, listen, I talked about you. <laughs> there's also no way there's a second woman who shit. Coming? I bet you that's a regular. If you look it up right now, I shit when I come. I bet you that's a whole. That's stuff. a right, well, You can use <laughs> my login. Book? You can use my login name. I shit. I login? shit when I come. Yes. Oh, I it's love a fucking working. joke. It's, re- it's really a log out. But go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not true. a big pull it up, but can we pull it up? See that I bet there? you there. I bet you that there is a I shit a when I thread? come. Whether it's a Reddit thread or if it's a Quora. <laughs> it's me shutting the but door. Know, me you shutting know. the door to my apartment and Katie going, "How'd the podcast go?" And I go. Why don't you shit when you come? <laughs> <laughs> but if you Google that, it's going to be gay men. 
Not, it's gonna be men that are receiving. No, oh, yeah, yeah, women, 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 shit women, women, shit women, 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 women. You can't shit when you come if you're a guy because it's in your ass. If a woman comes, and I don't know any, Natalie, maybe you can fill us in on this. That's called shit on your dick. Natalie, have you had orgasms? I have, yes. Yes, I have. I can't do nothing. I was going to say that I Googled it, and it does happen to women sometimes. Yes, for sure. Have you ever shit when you come? No, I have not. But that, see, here's the thing. When women come, my assumption is in order to really have an orgasm, Natalie, you have to, like, let go of... God? The, the ne- <laughs> whatever your nether regions are. And I'm assuming that women don't have control of their pussies and assholes like that, like dexterity between the two. So I assume when women come, they just go, ah. Oh, yeah, like get all the air. No. <laughs> Let it all out. No. No. Am I wrong about this, Natalie? Paralysis. You don't have not to. how I would describe it. But, but am not, I far off? You're not that far off. Or, or also, are you in her ear going, let go. Just let, let go. go. Let go, just, okay. Oh. When guys come, we hold it in though. We're like, <laughs> shitting and not. I Have you ever come and just let it out like a woman? Just like, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> That's all you did. I had a girl one yeah. time, she kissed me on my neck and I went, mm. and then she made fun of me. She went, mm. yeah. like, well, now I'm going to choke you. <laughs> I was well, like, well, now I can't come without hitting women. <laughs> well, now you're going to die. <laughs> now the girl. I've, d- I've done the moan thing yeah. one time. <laughs> one time with Katie, I did it and she goes, why did you moan like that? And I was like, why are you mean? <laughs> I slapped my own ass. That's fun. In the in the middle, well, I was slapping her ass doggy style, and then I just slapped my own ass. Just to get a little taste. I don't know, I one for got, you, one for she me. She was enjoying it, so I was like, "Fuck!" And I just. How old are her. you? Uh, ten. No, oh, okay. I was uh, like eighteen. And you're like, so you're like slapping, and you go, mm-hmm. and then you go, all right, mm. one for you. And she <laughs> turned, her, she stopped, she went, "Did you slap your own ass?" I was like, "Yeah." Yeah, you felt that, didn't you? Yeah. You felt me buck in. I think any uh, anything but yes anding in sex is really rude. Yeah. Anything Even. but being like, yeah, yeah, slap your, like, to be like, did you just slap your own ass? To question? Is, yeah. Is you gotta rude. just, after yeah. the sex, be like, hey, like, could you not slap your I'll own ass? I'll not even again? say that. Just tell your friend that I did it. Don't, right. I don't want to, what I, what, I don't need to know. Yeah, yeah. any kind of like, nah, 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 nah stuff. Do you think if she wouldn't have said anything, that would have became a regular thing? I would have kept doing it. You'd be, like, that would be your move now? Yeah. Not my move, but I would have, I, it was kind of hot. Buck your own Bronco? Yeah, buck my own Bronco. Yeah, it could start slapping around. I, I was fucking a girl one time, and in the middle of it, she's like, "Oh, I love it in my ass." I didn't know it was in her ass. I thought it was a pussy. Damn, you oh. just missed. Yeah, it was just so wet. I guess her pussy juice was so wet it went in her ass, and she's been fucked in the ass so much. Yeah, I, I went. I'm, I'm in your ass. Like I didn't. I was like, "I'm in your ass." Yeah, you asked like her question. <laughs> yeah, Is this person still in your life because I noticed you paused right before you no, went through with the story. I watched the editing. There was a moment where you were like, "No, she's not." Can I? There was an older this? woman back when I was living with the retarded that. guys. He was like, "It was like, like, bloop, 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 it was like, like mm, a, she was like 32, and I was like 21." Does Hershey Kiss still live in New York? She's 78 now. Is Hershey, I'm not saying anything. is Hershey Kiss famous? Will she ever be famous, or is she famous now? She's she, not famous. She's coming up. She's coming up. She's coming yeah, up. she's coming out. Yeah. Coming Dude, up. coming I'm shitting on your dick right now. Da, 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 da. I'm shitting. When did you have sex with her? It's a while ago. Like a, a long time ago. <clears> How <throat> many female comics have had sex with? One... Two, Two he's, li- three, he's reliving him three, in his head. Crunch. <laughs> he goes, oh, I remember that one. Don't you feel like if there's I've a- had sex with 32 female comics. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> if there's a woman in comedy that you want to fuck, besides my wife, Lewis has fucked him. I mean, Lewis. I mean. It, Lewis or DeRosa. DeRosa's fucked a lot of chicks. DeRosa. <laughs> Lewis and DeRosa. The combo, the combo. Have covered all the ground. Me and Bro, DeRosa. Boston there and you got Keith, everybody covered. Yeah. No, Keith, Boston's Keith, fucked a lot of female comics? No. Keith, Keith has fucked a lot of female comics. Really? Yeah, he's been around for I'm talking four, 50 white years. Ones. He's fucked white ones? No, he wasn't. He was talking about a different stroke, Bobby. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> he's fucked He's fucked comics 100%. Name three. Quick. Marina Franklin. I'm not going to name any of them. Rachel Fine. I'm thinking I'm of the old seller table. <laughs> Rachel Feinstein. And Schumer. <laughs> Toss it out there. Wow, I'm not gonna... Lynn Coplitz. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn used to be hot. Yeah. Yeah. Hot, Lynn, hot. Lynn used to host a show uh, called Change of Heart. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Used to watch her. I fucked Judy Gold. What? No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Dude, I that fucked... just shut me down inside. <laughs> I fucked zero female comedians. Bullshit. Really? Never. 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 That's my rule. Dan, something. how many female comics you take down? Five. Including including the one we know? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Let me. How do I know if Dan, that Dan's taken down? 
I know of. I love you take it down like it's a fucking wildebeest. Taken down. Yeah, like it's a fucking <laughs> That's safari. That's what you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't have them. I don't he have tackles, the heads mounted on my wall. Him and DeRosa tackle most out of open micers. <laughs> Le, yeah. But DeRosa's like, I can get you spots at Eastville. <laughs> I mean, DeRosa everywhere. That's like how they get into comedy. <laughs> I think for me at this point, like, fuck the five comics, it's. We're getting DeRosa canceled. This is terrible. No, DeRosa, do we? Yeah, you're right. I'm going to get a call. Me and DeRosa hey, have like man. three or four of the same. We've talked about it. You guys are Eskimo oh. brothers? We're Eskimo fucking I'm, twins. God damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, you could <laughs> join twins. <laughs> yeah, we're Eskimo can join twins. Yeah, I'm not into it. I'm yeah, like, it's always like, a bad idea. I don't like chicks. I don't want to. Uh, most of not the time, always. Uh, most of the time, it's not been a problem. Like, there's been only a couple gals that it's been a problem with, and one of them is dead. So, really, okay. Jesus. <laughs> Who died? Who died? Shut up. Somebody's dead? Patrice O'Neill? You killed them? <laughs> I killed Patrice at my club. Uh, I, mean, I married one. Let's oh, go. I know who Let's died. Let's go. Let's I, move you've on. You've had sex with every female comedian. <laughs> wow. I think, Jesus Christ, dude. I don't even know a female comedian that died. Uh, yeah, you did. You... No, I don't. Let's move on. All right. I was, I was kidding. I never did that. Wow. Right. Wow, what a great audience. Great audience. Audience. Uh, yeah, I don't know. How, how many female comics have you had sex with? Well, two, and then like a couple that were, I think two, maybe more. I had a bitch who showed up at a show, fucked me after the show, and then told me she was a comic afterwards. Oh, no, more than I two. dated a girl who then, after we broke up years later, became a much more successful comedian than me. That's crazy. But I was she never was like, a guy. I'll take your industry, and I'm gonna go get a lot more money from it. I was never a guy that was doing a lot of like walking up to girls at a bar and be like, "Hey, sugar tits, you want to get to know?" So I fucked a lot of comedians. So you just lot, knew them. You just knew them in the scene. You, yeah, you hold to, like, on, know hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. You're, down, you're downplaying this because I know. I remember Joe the Tomcat. Well, karaoke. I would get I laid remember. after karaoke. <laughs> Some Joe. kind of performance. Who gets get laid after karaoke? Joe, Joe List. Joe List. What was yeah. your game? How did it happen? He was amazing at karaoke. He was really good at karaoke. Really so was, girls would come up to you and be dude, like, I "I'm gonna a, fuck this dweeb." This is a real story. I swear to God, it's a real story. We were at Comics when it was still open, and we were all drinking, and we go to Woody's Tavern. And there's karaoke at Woody's Tavern on 14th and 8th. Yep. And everyone at the bar is not giving a shit about karaoke. But people are doing karaoke. There's a group of us. We all sign up. A couple of the girls we're with start doing karaoke. No one gives a shit. Joe does... Hurt So Good by Hurt, John Mellencamp. John Mellencamp, Hurt John So Cougar, Good. John Cougar, technically. John Cougar Mellencamp. He was talking about his herpes source. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Hurt he me. did karaoke to the point that the everyone at the bar turned around and was into it. Yeah, they were like, like clapping when like Joe, John Cougar was actually there. Dude, yeah, it, it was, a party was starter. It was Joe was like fucking going over there and singing. It was wild. I also had one, I had one in Charleston, South Carolina, where a girl came up to me after and was like, "I don't care what you say, I'm going home with you." After just one song, we never are these that. are these hot chicks though? Are these that like, one was cute. I mean, no, cute that's a or pick. Hot. She, he, Joe was yeah. playing in the mud that day. There's cute? a difference between. <laughs> Do you ever find good <laughs> stuff at a flea market? <laughs> Joe went yeah. pigging. No, but I, I did fuck a hot girl <laughs> after karaoke one. Yeah, she really was the butterfly knife of girls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like it looks cool at first, yeah. like this is dangerous. Yeah. Actually. But was Why it? are you doing this? <laughs> Why are you open to this? Yeah, you can't. You can't. I mean, I fucked a lot of chicks through comedy, but they're all hot. Do you know how crazy that is if you're on a date and the girl goes, I hooked up with him, and you go, how'd you meet him? She goes, I saw him at karaoke. You'd be like, this is a great topic. But I did special. Actually, I want to hear, what did he get laid at that Cougar Mellon Camp karaoke? I was with a girl that I was hooking up with, yeah. and then she went after me, and I buried her. I mean, said, buried her. Oh, no. And I remember what she sang, too. What she sang? She sang ground control to made not a good All thing. I know is horrible, horrible karaoke. I went, out, I went outside and smoked a cigarette during it right in her face. <laughs> I had to walk in front of her to go smoke. It was like I started I like, the party. I was like, how you doing? <laughs> everyone was going nuts, and then she sang that fucking dud, and then everyone was just actually like, ah. Joe DeRosa was with us because Joe it was his and I, birthday. Yeah, Joe and I went outside to smoke. It was literally one or however many years ago from last Tuesday. Yeah. Joe's throwing his birthday party again, by the all way. week. I, I, mean, I don't understand. Every that. day, Joe had five birthday anybody. parties like a woman. Yeah. I, 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 what what is that? An invite. He's always, he showed, he he showed up at Legion oh, of Skanks with his own birthday cakes and for a surprise party for himself. No, what he didn't. I swear fuck? to God, he did. He showed up with his own birthday cake? With his own birthday cake and threw a surprise party for himself on Legion of Skanks. Oh. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Wait, hold on. What? Yeah. yeah. I coming, will deny it's my birthday. Coming out tomorrow. Gonna, that is. I'm texting him right now. He showed up with his own cake? Yeah. And, and who did he give it to? And Natalie? birthday hats. And birthday hats for everybody. I don't get it. 
This is what happens when you move to Austin. You become unchecked. It's true. Joe Rosa lives in Austin? Yeah, yeah, but he's been doing this yeah, for years. Yeah, he's right. been doing that here. He throws his big party. Hey, my birthday party. I'm th- I'm he makes flyers. My- yeah. Well, now, here's oh, what he did. Was he threw a birthday party on Saturday. Then Tony Hinchcliffe asked him to do the garden, to do a spot. So he left his own birthday party and left, and everyone was pissed off at him. So when he get, when he went back to Joey Rose's, they put up uh, decorations just for Tone Bell's birthday party. That's fun. <laughs> That's fun. I like that. That's no, funny. He I left throw, his own birthday party. He's a fucking climber. I throw my own big, huge birthday every year. That's crazy. But hey guys, let's take a quick moment and thank my bookie for supporting today's show. We love my bookie. They're an online sports book and casino platform that lets you bet on every game and win anytime, all from your mobile device. If you guys watch sports, this is a you know. A, the number one way to enjoy sports is to have a little skin in the game, right? Yeah. And I, when I watch MMA or if I watch fighting, this is it, dude. You, I don't really give a shit about sports at all, but if I throw money on something, I'm on the edge of my seat the entire time. It is the number one way that you can enjoy sports. It does. It makes you actually invested in the game. I'm not a sports guy either, into the stats and the players and all that, but you can do this and actually enjoy a game if you have a little stakes on it and you make some money. The gameplay is exciting, and you know what? Check this out. There's, you just need, you don't even need to download the app you can just go to the website sign up really quick and you're ready to bet so right now all you got to do is click the link in the episode description and use the code regs r-e-g-z when you sign up and you're going to claim a bonus up to one thousand dollars on your first deposit once again that is my bookie just use the link that we actually have in the episode description and use that promo code regs for up to a thousand dollars on your first deposit that's right don't ever miss out on the action bet anything anywhere anytime only with my bookie there's no need to download an app just click the link baby my bookie you did uh, you, you did the uh, Tony thing. How was it? It was awesome. Yeah? It was kind of crazy, though. Why? What do you mean? What do you mean? Crazy? They good? told me they might be putting me on stage on Saturday. That's all they said to me. It was like, we're doing like a Legends Bucket thing. We're going to pull up like real comics. For and- for context, uh, Kill Tony did Madison Square Garden Friday and Saturday oh, yeah, night. Yeah. And sold it out. Sold and it out. What, Re- the bonfire's missing? Crazy <laughs> energy. Crazy energy. <laughs> And um, so he was like, yeah, well, he was like, we're going to probably put you on on Saturday. He was like, but you're coming Friday too. come hang out, whatever. So I'm there. And I guess they were just ahead of schedule. So they were like, all right, let's throw Lewis up. I'm outside smoking a joint with Big J. I'm not even looking at my phone. I get 15 missed calls from Ari Shafir from the producers. And I'm like, what's going on? They're, they're like, oh, we need you on stage right now. What? So then I'm at I'm, the I'm, garden. I'm wearing a dirty hoodie and sweatpants. I run inside they're, the elevator is stuck with a medical emergency upstairs, so I'm literally just pouring sweat, being like, oh, what's happening? And I just fucking ran up there and fucking, that's why I, I was, I, it, look, the joke went great. Uh, you know, obviously it was, it was. How long like, did you do? Like two and a half minutes, two okay. minutes, something like that. Um, but they didn't hit you with the cat meow, did they? No, 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 no. They just were letting people do like okay. the regular comics do what they want to do. But it was very nerve wracking. So you do one joke. I did one joke. I what was the joke? My uh, my new opener for my new my new hour. And that's all. You get one joke and then you walk off. They told me I could really do what I wanted. They said kind of keep it short. You know, I think Big J did like three minutes. Yeah, but you had no idea it was going to happen. No, DeRosa did a minute. Joey Diaz did like a minute. It just depends on who, people. Just did what they sort of wanted to do. Did somebody? Did anybody bomb? Yes, not He's, any, he just, he, no. uh, let me tell you right now, he just edited the way you edited when <laughs> yeah. you were talking about your sex with Everybody the dude. gets one edit today. Everybody gets an edit. <laughs> Lewis just went, I'm scanning, scanning, scanning. How do I say that he didn't bomb? <laughs> no, 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 no. There was a couple people who just didn't get like big pops. Well, that, it's not a hot room, Madison. It's Sprague. the garden. <laughs> I've played Seriously. the garden three times. I've fucking killed all no, no, no. three times also. It's I've hot. done it 12 times. Minute. I got a residency. I'm Billy Joel. But it's a minute. It's a minute's tougher than having, you know, 20 yeah. minutes or no, 15 no, minutes. No, 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 it's not. It's not. So that crowd was so fucking hyped to see like real comics come out and fucking. Well, I was trying to make this fucking loser feel better, whoever they are. Yeah, no, no, they, they, oh, they also didn't bomb. It was. I've never done they it. just didn't. All right, the person I'm talking about got like a standing ovation pop and then had as mild of a set. Ah, well. uh, so that's but, all it was. But it was Andrew, laughs, it Andrew Dice Clay. No, 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 no. You you heard it here first. Do you they have can, two names or three names? You guys can watch it. <laughs> does, he, does he smoke cigarettes around his head? But my, I would have gone bigger Dude. had had I been more prepared. I would have gone. I would have. I would have fucking, you know, fucking thrown water into the crowd. I would have fucking fucking karate chopped Drogan in the chest. I would have fucking you super kicked Shane. You would have. You would have. I would have flipped that. over the table. Fuck you, you Tony. You would have. You just gang suck You would have kissed Rogan's hand, <laughs> <laughs> and you would double handshake Shane. <laughs> I miss Grab you by the elbow. Yeah, I miss you. <laughs> I miss you, Tony. Thank you. I also like the idea that you. You have time to prepare what 
you come up with is throw water in the ground. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, if I had a like, little bit of preparation time, dude, that first row would have been so cool. I, was gonna, <laughs> I would have been so mad if I was in the front row. I'd be like, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? I would have gone, gone wild. Ari was so funny. Ari came in. It was so funny the way Ari came in. And that, that, you like, know why? Because Ari is like their, uh, he's like their son that they don't have in any of the pictures. Yeah. And he just shows up and does fucked up shit, like at the family holidays. Dude, he walked out and he was like, like he was, it was like pro wrestling. He was in the back of the stadium and they just have a picture of the Ari comes on the screen. He's like, fuck this piece of shit show. Yeah. The crowd's like, ah. Yeah. He's like, and fuck this crowd too. Yeah. This shitty, smelly city. Yeah. Some girl, some hot chick comes up and she's like trying to hug him. He's like, get the fuck away from me. You're ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I love Ari so goddamn much. He went up and fucking just didn't even do a joke. He just yeah. fucking trashed the show and I love pulled it. a fake dick out. It was great, dude. Because he was afraid to bomb. So I heard they couldn't pull dicks chance. out. That's why. They got a, yeah, yeah. a, a thing where they, they got rules. He was going to get charged a hundred thousand dollars if yeah. Ari pulled his dick out. If Ari pulled his dick out, yeah, uh, Ari could have been arrested. They have sponsors, and if they lose any of the sponsors, they they would have. No, it was the Garden. It yeah, was, the Garden. That's what I'm saying. The Garden had oh, the sponsors. Garden, right. That's so funny. Yeah, Ari Shafir is in trouble for pulling his penis <laughs> yeah. out a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> That would have been nuts. That's really funny. The Big East Tournament this year will be at Barclays Center. Yeah. Ari Shapiro took his dick out. Because Ari pulled his cock out. They're losing their <laughs> Billy Joel goes, I ain't playing there again. <laughs> so it was good. You go, did you go up Saturday night, too? No, I just went up Friday night. Did you go down Saturday? Yeah, I went. No. Oh, it was fun. Great. It was great. Big really party? Good. Yeah, yeah. Good times, you know. I was in San Jose, which is Spanish for destroyed downtown. So we're done with Kill Tony? I guess we're done with jokes. Ouch. Damn, dude. Sorry. Hey, I wanted to hear about the gets... party. Oh, yeah. There was, fucked us. Was that DeRosa's birthday party? No, no, no. They just did an after party at the stand on Friday night, and then they did. Did DeRosa bring a cake to that? <laughs> no. <laughs> the after party was at the stand? Uh, yeah, at the first night. Then the second night was like some rooftop bar. Magic hour? I don't know. Sounds did made up. Did you perform? <clears throat> what? Did you perform? At the after party? Magic. Magic. Oh, no, I didn't. But have you been watching my magic lately? I have. I have. Been pretty fucking good. Yeah. Are you getting ready for Skankfest? Oh yeah. What I, got to, James, I got to meet Penn and Teller. What That's if James cool. is huge? What if he's like bigger than Nate's dad? Magic. As and magic? Yeah. Um, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Could I don't be. know. I don't know if he's gonna continue to do magic for the rest of his life. I don't know if it's a career. He's eleven. I hope so. You know? The dark arts can most people him. don't start their careers at eleven. How did you get to meet up? <laughs> How did you get to meet Penn but and Teller? most great magicians probably started uh, before Dan, oh, Danny's a magician. Danny, when did you start? Danny, come show me a magic trick. I started when I was like seven, but I haven't done it in like five, six years. His magic trick has revealed Danny, eight years. Danny has a collection of uh, thumbs. Yeah, I saw Teller. No, no I saw Penn's penis. How did you see Penn's penis? When Say I, that again. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> Were you molested by Penn? <laughs> no, I, no, I was not. <laughs> um, but I, I used, when I was like a kid, I used to collect these uh, penises <laughs> in my ass. He, uh, he, co this is a he collects. Uh, the magic prop called a thumb tip, and I would ask famous magicians for their personal thumb tips. And as a kid, I went to see Penn and Teller's show, and I asked Teller if he had a thumb tip. Uh, Te his Teller thumb. or Penn? I asked Teller to if he I could have. He his didn't thumb. answer. And he went, "Yeah." <laughs> I heard Teller talk, which was weird. Backstage. Well, hey man. Oh like, wow. Chill. Hey man. No Puerto Ricans in the green. <laughs> Talking about black guy. You know what I mean, man. That's why I'd be silent, man. man. We wouldn't have gotten off the ground if they knew I talk like this. Uh, Say hey. Uh, that's uh, Louis J. Gomez. <laughs> Say hey. <laughs> My man. What it is? Cool as ice, right here, up high, down low. Slap right me down back. low, my man. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta go back to being quiet. All right, go ahead. What happened, Danny? Um. So then Teller brought me backstage to his dressing room, got the thumb tip. Oh, I mean, Eddie you did. got That's the like letter. <laughs> no, no, I did not. Uh, then he si Teller signed his thumb tip, and I go, is there any way that uh, Penn could sign as well? Uh, does Penn have his? He goes, there's no way Penn has one here. But I go, could you think he could sign yours? So he not Teller goes over to Penn's dressing room, knocks on his door. Penn goes, who is it? He goes, Teller. Uh, Penn goes, he goes get in here and suck me. <laughs> oh, no, there's a boy with you. Uh, <laughs> Earn your half. Tell, tell her Danny open. wasn't autistic before this happened. <laughs> <laughs> We're realizing this is all the trauma that made him just look down and be fucking retarded. <laughs> uh, Teller opens the door because he, th uh, Penn said, come in because he thought it was Teller, but he was naked. And then the, he closed the door. Oh, shit. Closed the door for a second. But I saw it for a second. You just saw it. Was oh. it, it had to be hammer. A hammer, yeah, right? Dude. He's yeah, dude. Six was, foot five. Six, yeah, but he, he was also so big. So staff. I don't, it, oh, yes. I, I don't know. I was so quick, but I saw it for a second. 
But you're oh, okay. tra- he's kind of you act the way you reacted. You almost are saying that he has a small dick. No, no, no. It's and, and it's not small, but he's huge. So, and he can pull it off though, which is crazy. Yeah, but that does sound. And he wasn't. Like, dick I like the Joe. That was a good one. That was pretty good. He can pull it off. That's fine. You know, like how many thumbs do you own? Too many. How many? Like. 30. He owns 30 magicians. I have Neil thumbs. Patrick Harris is a bunch of people. Who wow. has 30 thumbs and collects thumbs? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a thumb? Uh, a magician never reveals a secret. You should get Lewis's thumb. Yeah, why don't you get Lewis's thumb? Yeah, head? have him sign it. I'll add Lewis's to the collection. Who, did you, do you have David Copperfield's thumb? No. Who's they, the biggest? They have no respect for David Copperfield in Vegas, by the way. Every really? magician's like, yo, fuck that guy. How did you come to be He's backstage a, at Penn & Teller? They have no respect for Chris, uh, Chris Angel. Angel. Yeah, they don't like Chris Angel. They don't like Chris Angel at all. Who's the most hated magician? Chris Angel. Chris Angel might be the most hated magician. Danny? He's like the ma- but, but I found out that David Copperfield is a, the, a self-made billionaire. Him and Oprah are the like two of the only self-made billionaires in the world. David Copperfield sold more tickets than any other entertainment person in history. Yeah, he has like he's like he bought the theater at the casino, and he um, owns a private island. Yeah, yeah, but isn't yeah any, right it, next to Epstein Island, and he's on the Epstein list too. Is he really? Yeah, yeah. David Copperfield. He goes when they swim over here, they go missing. <laughs> <laughs> I make them disappear. Where are the underage girls? <laughs> How did you get backstage? Uh, Doctor Drew. Shout out, Doctor Drew. Whoa! Double I, I was posting that I was going to see Penn and Teller, and then somebody was like, "You know, Doctor Drew is really close with Penn." And then I just hit up Doctor Drew. I was like, "Dude, I'm bringing him." I was like, "We could set up a meet and greet." And it wasn't even a meet and greet. It was a straight up green room backstage. It was just like a few other magicians that were in town that were there for a conference. So there was just them talking shop, and me and James just sitting there like little fucking fanboys. Was it, I mean, that's an amazing. Experience. It was amazing for me. I, I grew up loving Penn and Teller. Bullshit. The, you know, all the shit that they do is awesome. Like. Um, that's yeah. the kind of stuff that makes James a magician for life. Maybe, possibly. We did a private magic, or well. makes him go. I don't want to be magicals? not with them, but oh. another magician. Makes him like I don't want to be a fucking queer like these guys. Wow. Yeah, he grows up. He goes, I don't know. I think my dad is trying to turn me gay. <laughs> Bobby doesn't yeah. respect magic. Just uh, I love magic. I would never do magic. There's some. There's assholes though. So you're doing a magic trick, and they're like, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that right there? You're like, dude. Magic's that's not real, you fucking jerk off. That's my son. I told my my son to say that to his mom. I was like, next time she does that, be like, mom. She does that. She does it to Ma- James. Yeah, magic's not real. Let me just do the art. There's wait, like a, there's a there's a performance here. It, that's the skill. It's you're obviously mom- sleight of hand. <laughs> like, wait that, for real though. His mom does that. She's like, what's that coin? What is that? Are these real cards? Let me see the cards. Let me see what it's set up. And you're like, let him live. Let him live yeah. his dream. <laughs> Jesus, lady. Maybe if you did this, dad would still be around. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you didn't make him show all the angles. That's fucking awesome, though. That is, that's like a thing, Joe's right. That's a thing that gets you committed to magic for life because you meet Penn and Teller when you're 11. It was really cool. They were you really, really cool. are against magic. I love magic. No, I'm just not. saying that it's not the thing that makes somebody want to do magic. But it will be a job in 20 years. It will be a- Other other jobs won't exist anymore. Magic? Is magic? That, yeah. Magic stays around for So here's the thing. It's kind of like pro wrestling in that, so the internet... It looked like it was it was seemingly that the internet was gonna ruin magic, right? Because you could just look up the tricks. Sure. Right. It's kind of difficult to like people know the secrets, but now that the internet's become so big, magic's actually bigger than ever because now people are like interested in seeing how it works. Well, it's what if you you're ju- good at it. Like you, we know that it's kayfabe and pro wrestling. It's just what you said though. It's it's about pulling it off. It's like yes. yeah, we know it's not real. We know wrestling's not real. Yep. But how do they pull off a fucking suplex off the top? Now rope? back in the day, the Undertaker. You see, the Undertaker's on a podcast now, and he's just talking about it. it's like yeah. So when I fell off the hell in the cell, that yeah. was crazy. They had this set up. That was like against the rules of wrestling. Remember that show that came out on Fox where that guy, the masked like, magician. He, no, the masked magician, but. Also, the mask they did wrestling. I didn't know they, they did showed that. Fox did a whole thing about how, like how they blade, like how all this stuff. I, know that. I remember watching that, being like, I know, like how they, got, when like, they death threat. touch their hand. Oh, they do this. That, that means, means they're they, really hurt. Yeah, they, when they anytime somebody does a move, the ref goes over and grabs the guy's hand. Grab my hand. When they go like he does, he does this, and if he squeezes back, he's all right. Yeah, when they go like this, it means something's yeah. for real. Yeah. Bad. Yeah, if you ever see it. Yeah, if you ever see it, there is. Yeah, yeah, probably. Like people being like, "Yeah, he's fucking hurt." Like if you're in a wrestling match and they do something, and the ref does this, that means he's when when Owen Hart broke Stone Cold's neck with that pile drive. Yeah, I know that one. You see it, and then fucking Stone Cold finished the match. Yeah. It was like the worst finish of all time. Yeah, he was just like, just get on me. (laughs) He just like threw him on him. He's like, one, two, three. Wow, what a match. 
but yeah, magic. You're right. It's like now the people just care more about pulling it off. Like <laughs> it's their. Like, oh, what the fuck was that? What if a rabbit came out of his mouth? I would have. Been, I would have. I would have been like, man, give up comedy, dude. Give up comedy. You are the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Well, you know what, Rick Rubens. You know, Rick Rubens obsessed with wrestling. Yeah. Do you know. That? Yeah, he goes to like SummerSlam and shit all the time. Yeah, it's like his favorite thing. But he said, because everyone knows it's fake, it makes it the realest thing. Yeah. Like every like reality shows and sport, everyone's like, "Is that real? Is this real?" Wrestling, it's just everyone. You knows know, Rick it. Rubin doesn't even know how to play an instrument. Yep, doesn't know how to work a board. Knows nothing about music he just at all. To, he just knows how to go. That's good. Yep, that's and, the oh, that's the only talent he has. Is that I like that. But then you see all the albums he did, and you're like, well, "There's got to be something there." Yeah, but would would they have made that with any other producer? I don't know. I love Rick. But Rubin. that's his thing. What? Knowing nothing. He doesn't know how to work Steve a board. Jobs. Steve Jobs wasn't a programmer. Steve Jobs understood how to make people work together and create products no, he, that had utility. He knew how to masses. be a tyrant and tell you, go fucking do it, you piece of shit. <laughs> that was always my that's what, what you, That's what you take away from Steve Jobs? That's, 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 that's Sony, what everybody Sony, says. That was so many my more favorite. layers to it. That was everybody my favorite. Says. Left his uh, children. Oh. Left everybody. Didn't even know. Left his child. He was 20 years old. He got this. Crazy bitch, Brad. Like, you're a, you're a, what, I love jobs. Do you? Yeah. Are you I in the love jobs? jobs. I, wish I have a I wish jobs poster one. in my bedroom. What? A quote. You have a p- it's a poster of his face made up of his quotes in thick and thin lines. What the? <laughs> refused to ever my bed. give his daughter money. They, they were they were like poor. That's not true. That's you guys, true. you guys hear bits and pieces of it. What? I already made a deal with the devil, and that's why I called <laughs> him what, Apple. What yeah, and the he, devil. What kind of pattern had a violin? That girl? <laughs> Ah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. I think it's Steve Jobs. He's got to put it back in his own mouth. You know, the, the iPhone. No, so what he did was, no, what he, what he did was, he got a bitch pregnant when he was in college. He was like 20. This is actually verbatim what it's, what's written in the biography. A woman. He got a bitch, got a bitch pregnant. pregnant when he, and she was a crazy fucking bitch. She was like, imagine. You're a crazy bitch. I was going to say, did she fuck so good she's on top of it? Well, imagine you get a crazy. <laughs> I, I I had a crazy bitch tell me she was pregnant once. You've had a lot of crazy bitches tell you that. Uh, dude, I don't know exactly who it was, and I remember that drama. You never say that name. I never will. You never I remember being. It's like Beetlejuice. You don't even say it once. Yeah, so we I don't risk it. Because we're only remember, two more times away from getting her back in my life. <laughs> I remember mentioning. being we were very like we'd hang out every day and i remember that happening she's and a you, crazy you, bitch dude bethany so, susan chill jenny, but if I, oh, Michelle. jenny. <laughs> kelly Fastuka. Oh, she's like oh no i never said that but if i got her pregnant I, <laughs> I there's no way i would have been a good dad i would have tried to deny that it was my child this is a fucking absolute an absolute lunatic so he's a kid he gets his bitch pregnant and he's a, he's on he creates this fucking company and he hates her and he doesn't believe it's his kid because she's a slut so he's like yeah fuck you get a paternity test and then when she got the paternity this was fucked up she got the paternity test he paid her the minimum or the the the, the minimum that the state told him that he had to pay which sure. was like 150 bucks a month or something mm-hmm. at the time okay. um when he just became like worth a few hundred million dollars which that's you know. cool but then then he ended up having a great relationship with his daughter his daughter ends up fucking growing up and they have a great you his know, other daughter no, 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 that daughter. Ah, uh, yeah, he ended up having a great relationship uh, with her. <laughs> Maybe if you ever read the the biography, you that he wrote. Uh, no, not. <laughs> <laughs> well, not. It actually wasn't. That's got a rule to write your own movie, biography. In the movie that they made of him with they, starring they, Ashton Kutcher, no, they, the other one. No, the other one, he, Michael Fassbender. He, uh, they didn't I love Fassbender. They didn't Fassbender have a good relationship. Did you ever see that one? No. They didn't have a good relationship. In the first in that third one. of it, you fucking lazy, falling asleep asshole. In the second that's a, and you know third, what? third, that's a true. They, that's, I, I did I fall it. asleep during it, dude. I didn't know you're such a jobsophile. Love, dude. Of course I, he is. He's a fucking tyrant. He doesn't <laughs> know anything. He yells at people the, to do shit. Where's the black turtleneck? <laughs> where's the tiny glass? I need a fucking network. What if I told you we took a podcast? <laughs> And added the N word. <laughs> Podcast. N word. Scandalous. And then <laughs> sp- <laughs> sprinkle in <Podcast>. rape. Podcast. <laughs> N word. You guys are getting it? Podcast. Yes. N word. That's, that's what he did with. You ever see the, the real reveal of the iPhone? Mm-mm. Makes me, gets me choked up. It does what? get me choked gets up. Gets me too. choked up. What do you mean? He's, he, it destroyed society. A- Apple had a thing every year, this big convention, oh, when they yeah. re- introduced a new product. They still have it, but it's, he, not, it's not Jobs. No, it's sucks now he used yeah, it's to like going and seeing a journey now they would always Philip, do this you know. at the end of it he would announce all the bullshit and at the end he'd go one more thing <sighs> and the crowd would go nuts like a fucking like, concert like the, like you two was on stage it was like crazy fucking losing and then minds. he he did the when they were introducing the iphone right because they already had the ipad yeah they they said, he was like we're not they didn't have the ipad 
No, I'm sorry. Actually, they did not. Little known fact: uh, iPad was being developed before the iPhone. You know why? They took the the technology from the iPad team to release the iPhone. Do you know first. why? Why? They like he went to a party, and somebody from Microsoft was talking shit like we're we're inventing a tablet. It's going to take over the the revolutionize the world. And blah blah blah. We'll be the first ones to do. He got so mad. He went back. That night, and called his team together. We're fucking doing a tablet. I want all hands on deck. They created this fucking tablet. They had it on the table. But, well, they, what they the were, big, the big were, differentiator they were, and what they, they they were they were hang on. They were sitting around the room, and they were like everybody was on their blackberries. Everybody was and he's like he's looking at everybody on their phones. He's like we don't need to fucking do a tablet. We need to make this smaller. Make and he goes make that into a fucking phone. Just so you know, I know the whole story. Yeah, that's not how. None it of that is that true. Is absolutely true. Bobby just Bobby made does. an entire scene that never Bobby, happened. It in happened. The world. It fucking happened. One hundred percent. I have no idea. <laughs> he goes, he goes that's, dude. I'm on. He goes. You're you. on your phone. He goes. My phone. He nope. goes. No iPhone. <laughs> no. I, I swear phone. to God. They were. I they had. Phone. They had. They had the actual tablet shooting down the technology, shooting onto a a table that where you can touch it and all that. So they invented that. The touch well, the screen. The, the, and the invent, guy they looked didn't around, the What they invented guy, was they invented the pap, fuck whatever it's called. It's so they, this is like listening to let, two guys behind a gas because station. Because he doesn't fucking know. I'm telling you, you the you're, fucking, not, but you're not saying the right thing. I'm saying the right thing. The reason they invented the phone is from the. Okay, they it doesn't matter. The Move tablet. on. Fine. Yeah, we believe you. No, what I'm, what I I'm, want you to fucking believe me. Believe me. And we're having a jobs off. <laughs> Are you done? Nope. Not until you say I believe you. Bob. I believe what if I told you? Nope. I want you to say it in my face. One more thing. You guys are supposed to go nuts. Um, no, the technology is you could press, like the, what made it different was you could press down on it soft or hard. That was the big thing with iPhone, right? And that's what they ended up um, trying to look it up. Revolutionizing. Right tactile. No, it's not tactile. It's tactile. That's not it. That's not the word. Strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Technology. <Nope. laughs> this says the iPhone was first. Yes, it that's what we're saying. First, but they were developing. They, they were, were developing the iPad was, first. Jesus Christ. Ah. What, you don't like somebody jumping in? I'm you know what's so you. funny? Is why, don't we work I finally, why don't we work together with these fucking idiots? I finally found out a thing that Lewis actually loves sincerely and takes like earnestly, he, he and it's is. Steve Jobs. It's I Steve love Jobs. Because you like the way you're talking He's about it right now. He's like starting to do it, and it's like, well, that's not. That's like if he was trying to explain SummerSlam to you, and I go, that's actually not what happened. <laughs> you have to understand. And like, I'm, I would I'm, get like upset where I go, you know, see No, what we did is in the reveal in the, the big giant conference, yeah. it was the, the iPhone first came out. He's like, we're actually developing three new products he was like uh he was like a portable web browser he was like uh uh a, a new mp3 player that will play up to ten thousand songs ipod the ipod was already Whoa. out six Whoa. years before that let me finish what i'm saying they were saying the ipod new ipod yes a new a new MP3, an mp3 player, player and a phone and he was like that's right three products a navigation an iP or an iPod and a phone, and then as people started getting it, he was like, "It's actually one product." And people were like, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were so happy, dude! Yeah. Oh, the best, dude. And then it ruined it society. Was, it was a web browser, not navigation. And it still ruined society. It was a, oh, you're it, me today. It was a web browser, I'm dude. Fuck, I'm, I'm trying to help you. I'm beat your ass. Why can't I help you? You said navigation. It was navigation. They didn't have maps. Can I say I do like the, the navigation? One. That's my favorite part of it. The Apple navigation stinks. Google Maps. Google Maps is a shit. Google Maps is the best. Google Maps is the best. Yeah. No question. It was a web browser, a phone. Let's move on. And an iPod. I guess a web browser. This. I'm just trying. Web browser, phone, I went iPod. <laughs> web browser, phone, iPod. Web browser. Phone, and then it we, all came we, together. I went it. to Steve Jobs' house, the the garage there in Cupertino. In Cupertino, right by Stanford. What uh, <laughs> are you? <laughs> Why are you? You're bothering bother bother me right now. You're bugging Silicon me. Remember what? That San Jose what are you joke? So stop fun? trying to be the Jobs guy. I'm the Jobs guy. I'm the f I'm a Jobs guy too. <laughs> I'm just got the buddy. I was a Jobs guy before you, <laughs> dude. He was yeah, dude. Buddy, I had the I had the first Jobs. Buddy, I had part time Jobs. Part time Jobs. I had a Mac Classic. I had the first portable computer, the Mac Classic. It was a square. You, I You're literally took it. You had, it was the first portable computer. It was a Mac Classic. Had a little screen this big. Had a bag. I took it to college. It was a big Mac Classic. It, had a, <laughs> it weighed like <laughs> fucking 10 pounds. Uh, uh, I was a Mac guy before you. Uh, I know. 
Damn. I'm with you on it. I I'm, I love Steve Jobs. <laughs> Why you get mad at me? What man? else do you know? Do you know? Yeah. How did he feel about parking in handicap spaces? He, How, loved, he, he, loved, it. he loved it. it. He, he loved it. He loved it. He loved it. That's a, this is he the would, part of he, he wouldn't he wouldn't put a, a license plate on his car because he didn't like the way it looked. Yeah. So he would just park in handicap spaces. Like yeah. he would like do the thing where he turn the car sideways to take up two <laughs> handicap spaces because yeah. it was a Mercedes Benz, and he would just pay, pay the tickets. He was like, "Yeah, I'm not putting a license plate on my car." Who knows his birthday? Whoever gets closer loves Jobs more. We'll do Jobs trivia. Jobs. Right. Birthday, I, like birthday this. I want month, date, and year. January. Yeah. No, you don't all know three. it all. Give me all three. I fucking know it, dude. No, don't look at your phone. No, no, no. 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 Don't Come use on. the piece no, of no. Steve Jobs. I can't no. use the internet. I can just use the picture of the quotograph on my wall, which has no. his date of no. birth. No. no. Come on. No. January. No. Keep you going. said January 17th, 1963. It was, it was not 1963. It was Good n- guess, Bob. It was 19. It was 1965, 1965, and it was no October 28th. He died in October. Can I get, no. You want to uh, guess? Yeah, I'm going to guess. 1954. Nope. June 2nd. Dan likes Steve Jobs the most. <laughs> no, he was the closest without going over. Yeah, without you, even retard, you guys, you retards made him 30 years old in the mid-90s. Yeah, Steve Jobs <laughs> was born February 24th, 1954. Wow! I was I was the closest. I was the closest. It was actual birthday. I said, I said January. 65. You did say January, but the year is what's most important. Yeah, I, I just you guys know his I middle said name. Sixty three. I was eight. Yeah, years you're eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> middle name? I know his middle name. Fucking uh, better believe it. Steve. Is, let Lewis guess. Doesn't have a Michael. <laughs> Michael. Michael's close. a good guess. That's great. Close. Miguel. <laughs> Not that close. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. Wow. How is that my Michael close to Paul? Uh, wow, it's like a his, middle, his father's Does name he... was Paul Jobs. Paul Did you know Jobs? that? Is that Ken? Yes, it is. No. Look it up. Yeah, it is. Check it. Check it. Check it. I don't Where did positive. he go to college? He went to uh, Stanford. Sa- no, we didn't no, go didn't. to Stanford. He went to, um, it was in California. Johnson and Wales. <laughs> <laughs> um, was not in California. Went to you idiot. Pack. He went to, he went to uh, Yale. He went to DeVry. No. He went, to, he went to Reed College. R E E. Didn't graduate. Reed. Didn't graduate. True that he did not graduate. Didn't graduate. Neither did uh, Elon Musk. Didn't graduate. No N- kidding. A lot of millionaires. Billionaires. Lewis, had, well, Elon right? Musk's, that's family money, Sorry. dog. Huh? That's family money. No, he made his money off of PayPal. Yeah, from his family money. He invested his dad's money, and then part of it was that when he left, he had to be credited. All right, let's move on from the Steve Jobs trivia. This is adding nothing funny to the show. We're not getting to it any jokes. It was damn funny. It was Miguel very was huge. Miguel was, Miguel was big. I mean, we had a lot of laughs. Miguel was good. 60, we had a lot of good laughs. 65 made you look retarded. That's funny. <laughs> um, in October of 2003, Steve Jobs was diagnosed with what? Pancreatic cancer. 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 Ask cancer. Cancer. Yep. Can and he went, he went to pancreas. He went, he went, he went to India and he, he did yoga yeah. instead of going to a doctor. Yes, he could have. He could have survived he if he stayed here. He had the best doctors available to yep. him. And he didn't do it. He could have survived. He Why didn't he do that? Because, because he's he a wanted to do holistic loser. And were they like, um, Mr. Jobs? I hate to tell you this, but you went the wrong way. <laughs> he did. <laughs> you are going to die. If he got, if times. he, if he went to doctors here, he would have been around. Could have gone to Doctor Drew. Yeah, Maybe. he would have been around. Could have met Penn. I would make that cancer Wait, is that for real? If he would have gone to a doctor, he would have survived? Yeah. yeah. Well, they say that. It's not guaranteed, but yeah. they said he was, he knew about it early enough. It was curable. Could have, yeah, it was curable. Yep. He and said, he was just like, no. Yeah. But here's my question about Steve Jobs, because you're talking about like the parking thing and all this stuff. Is the things that did that, that ultimately killed him, the reason he was so successful? Because he was like, no, nah, fuck that. I'm going to do it this way. No. Like, is that that personality trait that got him? Probably, Yes. Like yes. that was like fuck license. Yes, plates. he didn't. He didn't. He wasn't looking at things inside of the box. He, you know, made up his own rules and just sort of like, you know, because people would, you know, he was the guy who would make people feel like shit was possible that was impossible. Like that, their whole team. Like if you talk about the people that were like in the inside of a team, they talk about Steve Jobs like he was a fucking god. And then there was some low level people that were like, this is the fucking devil. He's like the most evil man. But then he also left Apple because they they got no. He got fired. He, the, fired. he got yeah. fired. The board booted him out. Back when he initially had the success, they booted him up because of money. 
he actually said that in one of his speeches that he said the second money is uh, in, in, introduced to a company, creativity dies. That's why we're never introducing any money. Into well, not because of, I don't want to make <laughs> he any was, money. He was, from he, was this. he was none. He went off the the rails. They brought him back. Let, let me, can I give a little context? I'm you sorry, say, I'm just because of, because of money. And then you move it's, on. It's not exactly br- just because of money. Be, yes, it was. it was. Let me fucking talk, please. Why are you, Damn, you, why you, you talk, Why are you talking to me like an employee fuckface? Because you're. I'm fucking adding to it. I not. know about it. Yes, you're, I you're do. You're leading the narrative when you Before, know very little about I, Steve Jobs. Oh, don't use the word narrative. I hate when you use the word narrative. Lewis, why Bobby. do you and Big J both hate me using the word narrative? I don't. I, does he, he recently it? said to me, he was like, he was like, dude, what is your new word? Narrative. Oh, you use it a lot. It's, yeah. It's pause. Pause well, real quick, Edward. guys. What do you want to we're do? gonna we're gonna get to the <laughs> Steve Jobs thing. It's the only word that would make sense. Can we please call this episode? You know what? Steve Jobs double blow job. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys are both sucking him off. He left the when he got fired. The originally. By the way, the necklace bit is hilarious. He. <laughs> yeah, you look like a real Ginzo. <laughs> it's very funny. You can take it off now. We yeah. get it. You're <laughs> hanging around with Verzi too much. <laughs> he he originally got fired because the company, the board, booted him out. Because they didn't like the way Wait, he ran shit. Wait, we can do that? Shit. No, we can't. <laughs> and then they they brought in the head of, uh, I believe, the head of Pepsi, correct? One of the guys that we all Pepsi. saw the movie. I didn't. I didn't. The movie. I watched. I knew this before. Everything the movie you was know so is from this fucking Absolutely movie. Absolutely not. You fucking. But do, you're a shut. you're a Renan. That's what you are, right? You're now. a fucking. Renan. You're a fucking Renan. You're guys, a fucking. No anti-Semitism on the podcast. <laughs> a really brilliant Jew. <laughs> you, they they fired Great him comedian and they brought him back. Oh my god! What? God. No, you know what though? I like this. This is like a couple telling <laughs> the story, and the girlfriend <laughs> heard the story from the boyfriend who read the book. I'm saying that they brought him back. Go ahead. When they brought him back, mm. it's because the company was failing. The company was the biggest company ever, and then it went down because they would not. Microsoft let made an open platform for everybody to use. And you could take it and do whatever you want. Apple was like, they had their own printers. They had their own I remember those. Their, their, every, all their software was Apple, Apple, Apple. And these Microsoft was like, fuck it. We're going to open it up to everybody. Yeah. So anybody can do anything. Shout out Rolling any, Stones. Com- any printer, anybody, any, you can make a, any monitor can be used with our shit. Everybody, Apple was everything Apple. Everybody remembers those Windows commercials when the Rolling Stones did start me up. And then Microsoft was making way more money than Apple. And Apple was tanking because there was so uh, it was a closed platform, mm-hmm. and Steve, the that's monitor, the way Steve wanted it. The Phoebe, the Joey, and then Steve came back he, when they brought him back. Finally, Thanks, he actually came out with the. I just want to point out how much this sucks. No, well, we're going to get your time in court. Let Bobby go. Let the, <laughs> let the boy you. cook. Thank you very much. Bobby retelling the Steve Jobs movie is the worst bit we've ever done on this podcast. I well, guess what? Out. Now we have a new look. He's adding no context, nothing else. I'm that at, wasn't I'm, in the what do you mean no context? You're just I'm retelling you the story of. I tell you right now, he's telling a story like a guy wearing a chain. <laughs> I just like that. I like that. Neither one of you is claiming to have read the book. I, did pretty, book. I, I said three funny. times that I read the book. I've read Lewis the book goes, twice, I, and I listened to the audio book twice. I read the really? book twice. You didn't I read the book. You never I, I read the book. And I, you never read the book. And I You're listened to the audio book once. He was reading it when he saw the plane going down on the Hudson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you remember that? When he saw the second gunman on the grassy knoll. Can I point out also that a plane went down in Brazil last week and did not glide down, that it literally just dropped? It was from a the sky. Latino pie. <laughs> yeah. was a you know why? Because they're all so sexed up. All they're thinking about is big, juicy butts and not how to take a plane. <laughs> what are you bringing up, Danny? Something else. I mean, we got up the poop Give Lewis his day in court. No, no, no. It's fine. I want to move on. It's literally not interesting. I disagree. I disagree too. I think it's very interesting. I love. I, have I love. Page Lewis, I, I think me telling the version of it now would be even less interesting than the first time that we. But I personally love. Bobby watching. was hundred percent right. I, I love watching. Don't my, give up. Don't quit. I didn't quit. I just want to move on you to another quit. thing that could be funny. Don't Guys, quit. Guys, I'm saying, as someone who's sitting here listening, I love watching my friends ball washing billionaires. <laughs> <laughs> Suck them all off. And by the way, uh, people did give context for that because you guys were like, oh, Miracle on the Hudson. The reason it was called a Miracle on the Hudson was because it's not very easy to glide a plane onto water. But they well, did. That, that, that happened easy. one time. No, 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 but you guys were acting like, oh, planes just glide. If it, They wouldn't call it the Miracle on the Hudson if that's just what happened. It's a miracle that the, everybody lived. What does a plane look like? A bird. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what do birds do? They glide. Yeah. The water. And it's a miracle the that they can do it. No, I'm just saying you guys were like, oh, planes just glide. And no, no, they no, can. That we didn't they that. can't. We're You're s- naming the one time in history that that happened. It's not the one time. It's the one no, famous that's, time. No, it's Other the time. one time. It was the Other. miracle. Miracle. 
It was like a miracle that it happened. There was a plane that fucking flipped over and landed <laughs> upside down with uh, Denzel Washington. That's a movie, Bobby. You're describing another that movie. That actually film. happened. <laughs> Great film. That really happened. Did that actually uh, happen, or did they exaggerate? What flight? That, that happened. Yeah, flight, I actually, I enjoyed flight. Thing. Flight awesome. was great. Flight fucking rules. I did enjoy yeah. flight. My life. It's like John, a two-hour AA meeting. It's yeah. amazing. And then John, John Goodman, Goodman rules. And, Unbelievable. Oh my God. He gives him coke to be able to fucking sympathy for the devil. And when the fucking refrigerator's banging in the hotel at night, <laughs> yeah, he's like, I am an alcoholic. I'm drunk right now. <laughs> You're like, this guy's fucking great movie. Robert Zemeckis. Great movie. All right, yeah, let's watch that. That's a miss. Brazil, plane crashes in Brazil, Sao Paulo, killing all 62 on board. Everybody saw this. Wow. There it goes. Yeah. Let's, oh do, let's do no volume. Why wouldn't we do multimedia? Let's just do a singular media, please. Can't you hear me dropping? In just seconds, falling out of the sky. I mean, it just falls straight out of the sky. Jeez. Whoa. All right. It was a stall. We, we I'm sorry. Wait, what's he going to say? He might say stall the pilot did something else. Let's hear what he says. Let's see. And, and we all know how impossible it is to simply glide a plane down. TSB chair Robert Sumwalt is also a retired 737 captain. Just look retarded. You can see the airplane <laughs> spiraling. That looks to me like a like a flat spin. What caused the the speed to? Oh my! Imagine you're on that plane. What would you be doing? Being like I'm gonna die. Do you think you'd start crying? I would text you and be like, you know what? You were right. <laughs> These don't glide. <laughs> you were right. There was more to that job story. <laughs> I want to hear what fucking basketball head has to say. <laughs> When are you going to push the, the tri- play it's button? The triangle. Yeah, the first play, guys. To be seen. Look how close this person was to the crash as okay. the plane comes down just feet away. Feet? Crash sent dark yeah. I mean, that seems like probably f- at least 500 feet. I mean, we're feet away. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just, 2, 485 <laughs> feet away. <laughs> Voyo, Voyo. Oh, I thought it was called Voila Airlines, and they go Voila. There you go. No one on the ground was hurt. I got that. It should be called Voyeur because you watch it fall. <laughs> uh, Fuck. Go ahead, keep it going. Turboprop, popular with regional carriers, was traveling from Cascavel to Sao Paulo, flying at 17,000 feet. It was nearing the airport when the apparent stall occurred. Oh my when God, the dude! Do we go back? Was it was to that house? That's dude. what I mean. Go back. So here's my You're question. You're in your pool. Like, yeah. Also, this yeah. is a stall. Mar- Marco. <laughs> <Paula. laughs> also, with they when they die, do you think those ghosts are just in their backyard? So when they're having like night swims, they're just going to see like ghosts maybe through their backyard. Maybe. I like, these, I like to ask spooky questions. You did a plane sound. There was no, there was no engine. Oh, it was more like this. Yeah. 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 Stall, that's different than an engine going out. Right? What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, let's see. No, something was wrong at that point. Pause it. Did he just ask the dumbest question I've ever heard? Passengers know. He's like, do you think the passengers knew that they were free falling out of the sky? Do you think they stopped? They started spinning. Do you think the passengers knew that we weren't going forward anymore? When they slammed into the ceiling of the falling airplane? I'm going to pause Avengers. Do you feel like we're falling out of the sky? Hey. (laughs) Why is my tea going up? (laughs) She never brought me my. (laughs) The fucking. The fucking. The cart. The the snack cart. (laughs) Are we falling out of the sky? You have to do this. Hey, are we falling? You put your seatbelt on. Speaking of tea going up, how's the testosterone? Uh, I don't know. I haven't gotten it tested, but I've been drinking a few weeks. Nice. But you feel good. Feel good. Feel good. I'll tell you how you came in here. That testosterone's going. It was hot. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I got some of it. Yeah. Maybe. Just because I liked, uh, you know, Steve Jobs too. Well, I'd probably say. You but you're to say you're you sort like of stealing my thing, which is my problem. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I want to move on. I this is why I want to I'm the Steve Jobs guy. No, I love, Buddy, I love from Bobby. Now, listen, from now on, I, when Steve Jobs comes up, I'll just, I'll back off. Please. Okay. I didn't know. Because I could have given more context and more detail. You just fucking, you know. I hijacked it. You. I hijacked it. <laughs> hijacked it. Yes. I enjoy a plane joke while we're talking planes. <laughs> what did he mess up? <laughs> I enjoy that. What did he mess up? Just some of the context. He just he threw, he, threw, he was very obviously just repeating the no, no, no. plot of the movie. I just like Steve Jobs too, but I didn't know it was well, you. Don't I didn't, though. I you love have Steve no Jobs. feeling towards Steve Jobs. Love Steve Jobs. I was the first person. How many posters do you have in your room? Two. That's a lie. I took them down. <laughs> he just I moved. took them down, yeah. dude. No, I helped him move. I have. We yeah, took the, I took the posters. Yeah. He has one above his bed. Pull up the, I actually pull have up the Steve, Steve Jobs quotograph. I have a Steve Jobs medal that he was. What's I, some he, of the quotes? Give me two of your favorite quotes. 
Work faster, you stupid pig. <laughs> hey, you, one of them. hey, you fucking nerds. Get this done. You don't have a family when you work here. Um, on, two quotes. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't remember the quotes. Yes, you what, do. are you kidding? No, I don't. I inspire, that's it right there, there it is. That's oh, that's the one you have? That's the one that I have. That is in. Zoom in. I'll tell you the, the, my favorite ones. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Let's Life see. wouldn't want to do what I am about to do today. What? Creation is messy. I've always been thinking <laughs> that. I say that when I build stuff with my poop. Sometimes life's going proud of what we don't. You know, I don't really love any of these quotes. It's fine. Why is it in oh, your room, Doug? I like his image. <laughs> <laughs> you like him holding his chin and staring at you? Yeah. <laughs> also, to take a picture like this seriously and not go, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, he's a dork. But hey, I got an iPhone. Yo, babe, babe. All right, babe. What's that? Well, when he left yeah. the company, the company stinks. They haven't created anything new. We haven't done anything new since he left. He created we're, something. We're the, every, we're the original I, thought, Bob. What, what are you fucking attacking me for? He's mad at you. I don't why like, are you mad? Why are you like fucking mad at you. pretending to be a stolen a, valor? Jobs guy. I'm saying stolen that he, valor. What, what has what has been created since he left? Every year he came up with something new, a new design. Uh, the 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 Slow computer, on the, the iPod, camera? the iPhone, the the iPad. He Panorama. Carried, portrait they just, mode. They Ever just hear of portrait mode. They just make one. the same thing every year now because they make more money in fucking dongles and other bullshit than they do the actual phone. They. It's all about fucking money now. I guess you never heard of portrait mode. That came up. Not, not that was pretty good. So hot. Dude. It's pretty good. It's, it's, I know. Portrait well, mode why is why nice. are you getting fucking I'm mad at me? Because I like Steve Jobs. Well, I'm mad. I've had a tough two weeks. You seem a little fucking let's, angry. Let's move. Can you, why don't you just pick another mogul and make him your guy? It's fine. Yeah, Learn yeah. about him. Read who, the book. Who else do you read like? the book? Who else do you read? You don't like? have to watch the movie and what claim it. What about Rockefeller? Get into Rockefeller. Wait a yeah. minute. Wait a minute. You can get into one of the titans of industry. <laughs> Why don't read a book I... and then make that your guy, dude? You don't get to just fucking. This is a problem with society, dude. <laughs> just watches a movie, a half a movie one time, <laughs> big, and then it becomes his guy. He's pretending it's his guy. You're this... really mad about this. William Wallace is my guy. <laughs> that's that's good. Harvey Milk's my guy. I, I don't know why I, I, I love a gay I mayor. Can't, I can't like somebody too. Like uh, you, I, 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 too, I, I have you to, could be I have, buddies. Be Steve. I, I know that's what buddies. I'm saying. Guys, we could I be, follow his we daughter could, on Instagram. We he, could be Steve. We could see be Steve Job buddies, and then you're making me an enemy when I'm on your side. Yeah, be jobbies. Yeah, yeah, jobbies. We could be jobbies. The jobbers. The blowjobs. Yeah, jobbies, dude. Yeah, you Come guys. Every year on his birthday, come on, jobbies. Let's touch phones. And now I just throw your identity. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, Bobby's identity. (laughs) All of his passwords. Locked in. Text Uh, me a few of the uh, girls. um, The gals. You guys want to do plugs since we're out of now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We need some plugs. We only got about 20 minutes left. Uh, All right. I'll go first. Guys, go to lewisofskanks.com. When does this come out? This comes out next week. Uh, check me on the road. I'll be in Long Island this weekend with Zach Amico and uh, Mike Figs on the 23rd and 24th of I August. Love Figs. Tacoma Comedy Club, August 29th to 31st. Love Spokane that. Comedy Club on the 1st of September. And then I'm going to Skyline Comedy Club in Appleton, Janesville, Wisconsin. Uh, let's see. I got, oh, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, Orlando, Florida, and Virginia Beach, Virginia. That's coming up September 12th, 13th, 14th weekend. Those tickets just went up. And then the week before Skankfest, I'm in Toronto. Skankfest individual Friday day passes left. Sat- Sunday passes left. Get those before they sell out. They will sell out. Shout out to Yo Kratom for making it all possible. Check out all my pods. I got uh, The Real Ass Podcast, Legion of Skanks, and Story Wars. All available everywhere you find podcasts on the internet. Bobby, what do you got? Uh, go to punchup.live slash Robert Kelly for all my dates. My special's up there. We got a couple of podcasts up there that YouTube kind of poo pooed. So we put them unedited up on punchup.live slash Robert Kelly. Uh, all my dates. Uh, what comes out next week? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be, I don't know. Pull them up. I don't know where the fuck. Pull them up. Pull them up. Um, hello. Anyways. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, Check out my podcast, Bone to Pick with Paul Verzi. You can check out YKWD, of course, on YouTube and anything, anywhere you can get it. And The Bonfire, of course, on Sirius XM. And I'm fucking still vamping to, okay, go to the bottom, go to all dates. Uh, click on that thing. Yeah, right there. Uh, right there. I'm going to be in, where am I going to be? Damn. Uncle Vinny's, dude. You're going to be doing Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey in October. Then you got the Dundalin Theater in Dundalin. How do you say that? How do you say that? 
Danellen. Danellen. Danellen, New Jersey. And then I'm going to be at... Uh, then you're back at Uncle Vinny's. The 26th. Speak in New York, Morris Plains, New Jersey. Morris Plains, New Jersey. I'm going to be at East Providence this weekend. Phoenix, Arizona. There you go. Down the bottom. Oh, those are like the current ones. Yeah, these are the current ones. Phoenix, Arizona. I'm going to be at Cleveland, Ohio at Hilarities. September 21st, all the way down the bottom. Uh, Then I'm going to be in Las Vegas at Skankfest. Co-host New York, San Diego, Mike Drop Comedy. Uh, So go to punchup.live. Minneapolis, I'm at Acme again. Fucking best club in the country, one of them. And uh, check it out. Punch up that live slash Robert Kelly. Joe? Yo, I'll be uh in I'm also on Punch Up Live. I love Punch Up Live, big love Punch it. Up Live guy. And uh, I'll be in Oklahoma City for the first time ever. Never worked there. It's a fun ever. Right? I'm excited. <laughs> it's um, a good club. I've never even been to that city. And I'm gonna be in Portland Helium, which I love and I always love being there. Portland is still great. If you find the right neighborhoods, Portland still fucking rules. Portland, it's my favorite room in the country. And then uh, Helium, uh, Philly, October 3rd, 4th, and 5th. That one will sell out, so go check that out. Get the tickets early. And, of course, the big one, the big granddaddy of them all. Soder List, back-to-back Town Hall. I'm there November 9th. Town Hall, baby. Let's do it. New York Comedy Festival. Get into it. I will be at Buffalo Helium August 22nd through the 24th, then at Charlotte's Comedy Zone August 29th through the 31st, and then I'll be headed to old... Oh, I'll be... uh, I'm doing some shows with Jim Jeffries and Mark Norman. Uh, The 13th and the 14th, we're going to be in St. Louis, then Atlanta, and then uh, September 15th, I'll be doing the... Uh, Great Outdoors Festival in Vancouver, Canada with Andrew Santino, Mark Norman, Ralph Barbosa. That's fun. These are all Santino. These are all at DanSoder.com. Then, of course, it's Skank Fest. Uh, And then, like Joe said, the big one, November 8th at 930 Town Hall for New York Comedy Festival. DanSoder.com for tickets. Ooh, I got a topic. Yeah. Fresh topic. Hot off the press. Well, not by the time this comes out. Jaron Duran, Boston Red Sox player. Yeah. Got suspended. What do you think about this? Yesterday, he's at bat. Hot Mike catches him. Yeah, he called the guy. I'm telling the oh, story. Sorry. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. That's worse than me he hijacking was the, that Steve Jobs. That was crazy. <laughs> That's that fucking was nuts. nuts. We need to get Alan back. back. That was fucking Call crazy. Call Alan. Get him back. <laughs> the fuck was that? My bad. Like, I got a topic hot off the press. <laughs> dude, hot off the press. To the we all went, line. what? When? Well, he said off the presses. I thought it just happened. Buddy, he I'm said telling. hot mic, and we all were like, wow, Ooh. something good's coming. My bad. We can use some more setup for this. Jesus. We have to kill 15 minutes. <laughs> Thanks, Joe, for stretching out the topic the way we should. <laughs> wow. I told you guys what happened. Anyway, he just got suspended. Good. How many games? <laughs> Two games. Hot Mike, a guy yells, you need a tennis racket, not a baseball bat. And you'd love it. He turns on, he goes, shut up, you fucking f-. Nice. But it's on a hot mic. <laughs> And so now, and if it's a baseball pick up, player, baseball which, player, which channel did it pick it up on? Nesson? It was on Nesson. So Why does, I feel like Nesson, up, I feel like Nesson's the only, <laughs> there they go. Ah, if I can let that slide. <laughs> but so what? if it hadn't been picked up by a hot mic. That would have been fine. By the way, I bet that happens they, all the they time. They could have reported him, I guess. They, that yeah. happens at every basketball game. The, the football games, yeah. if they have a hot mic on that, you ever hear that shit? Remember before? when they tried to do uh, so here's the thing, like that is that, that was, is that by is, the way, Joe. I'm sorry, I just got no excited because I knew that, that is that Major League funny. Baseball saying we don't actually care about this, but we have to do something. No so sports probably, and people gives a fuck about people it. are fucking retarded. The people that are acting like yeah, they outraged, care. they're like, okay. I bet there are. I bet there aren't any people that are out. You want to hear it? Who cares? Please, Mark, bet- we can pull it up on the thing probably. Oh, that's oh, it's so low. So funny that voice always coming in. Here it comes again. Yeah, it was just a mumble. F- you know, it was so an under the breath. He wasn't in microphone saying yeah. you're a. F-. Like I don't know. I think someone that's calling you, board, dude. Do you think someone calling you that when you yell that out? Like if you're that guy, do you go like, oh, I'm sorry, I was just kidding. I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's it's a, a funny f- line. You need a tennis racket. By the way, I was at. Um, <laughs> That's a fucking. I was at a Red Sox game back in the 90s. And. Uh, they were yelling out the N word? <laughs> no, but I was sitting next to a guy, and Manny Ramirez played for the Indians at the time. And this Ooh. guy that was sitting next to me, he yelled out, Manny, you take it up to Fanny, you fucking. F-. <laughs> and nobody, which is a great heckle. I don't condone the F word, obviously, but Manny Fanny, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And nobody even 
Yeah, but that was the crowd. Added. Right. The, 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 but if but you, now also, if you did that in the crowd, they would come and kick you out. Yeah, probably you, leave, you know, uh, what do you call it? Ban you from the ballpark. Yeah, but basketball players say fucking crazy shit. Well, the NFL ballpark. tried to like. They can't. Yeah. The NFL tried to put a penalty if dudes were saying the N-word. They tried that and it just didn't work. Yeah, but really. Lewis can't go to the games anymore. Yep. But look, there's no other word. I've tried. <laughs> I've tried them all. I'm the Steve Jobs of words. What? That's all. That would Steve be, Jobs I mean, is the most. Lewis, it's the most, it's the most <laughs> accurately the word. word. But it makes Lewis. Yeah, Lewis's face made by the N word. But I bet they send him to some kind of uh, uh, class. It's a quarterback. Just somebody, 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 please make that. Just just please a, make that artwork. A just quarterback <laughs> of just me with N word, F word. This is what bothered me. In all the Instagram comments, every. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, that's what playing in Boston will do to you. That's why, because he plays in Boston. But I'm like, why do? Why does Boston own? Yeah, but he's not even from that's Boston. What I mean, he's not from there. He's from fucking Canada or something. Yeah, also, yeah. don't you guys have the catcher that got caught jerking off? What's wrong with that? That's right. Yeah, in the parking lot, in the Dollar Save More parking lot. I think years Wait, later we acquired him. He just, we was just jerking. <laughs> he got caught when he was playing for the Blue Jays. He got caught jacking off. He just wanted to get lot. one out. He yeah. was in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> And then they caught him, and they're I mean, like, we've been there, aren't you a like, major league player? And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you got to get one off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to do that uh, when I used to go to strip clubs when I was 18. Oh, boy. As soon as, as, soon as I get into strip clubs, 18, I was like, this is my life. <laughs> and then every dollar that I made from KFC was going to strip clubs. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I would go into this, and I, I couldn't afford lap dances, so I would just go out in the parking lot and jerk off and then go back in <laughs> but after you jerk off why do you want to go back into uh, i want to go get it get it worked up again damn that's wild that's 18 <laughs> i used to jerk off if you're 41 and you jerk off in the parking lot you're like, i gotta go home i gotta think like, about what stuff. did i do i got i got cum all over my shirt <laughs> i used to jerk off to stay awake when i used to drive late I've done, that's, I, that's I pretty, I'm trying to think of the danger in that, but I... I jerked off in the car all the time. Yeah, like driving, I'd be falling asleep, so I'd just start jerking off. I didn't do it to up. stay awake, I did it to come. I, I jerked off. And then <laughs> While when you the were truck driving? Would come by, yeah, a lot. And when a truck a would lot. come by, you'd have to like put your shirt over, because it's there. Wow. Yeah. I didn't, I, I've done it a couple times, but not to like come, but it was like, I was going to meet a chick... And I was just horny, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just you're, you're just a circus chimp, <laughs> yeah, dude, jerking off, I, I, dude. I, I've have you like done like phone sex with a chick? Yeah, it, it's it's really crazy. It's so funny when you come and your your well, you entire just, you're energy both changes. Monkeys just rubbing your genitals. If you really think about what's yeah. happening, it's the most like fucking barbaric thing in the world. Just going, but it's just so funny when the energy changes. And you yeah, come, right and you when go, you're done, I gotta go. Right when you're done, it just, all of it goes away. Yeah. As soon as you come, you're like, all right. I made some pretty crazy promises back there. <laughs> I love jerking off in the car. I haven't done it in a long time. Did you? Would you come while you were driving? Yeah. Right on your shirt. Not my shirt. I had Dunkin' Donuts napkins in the fucking Dunkin' thing. Donuts. So you would be jerking off. Would you go with your knee to cup it or what? No, you just jerk put it on, like put this. Put the napkin come, on top while you're coming and you come into the napkins. Yeah, no, come, into the come napkin. all down your hands oh, and all. Oh, the so you don't oh, pop. Dude. You don't pop up. What if a deer shot pop up? up? Not if I'm sitting. What if you got to hit up? the blinker? You got come on your blinker yeah. thing. Uh, you fucking suck uh, it off before you. No, I gotta take this left. I used to carry napkins in my glovey. So if I jerked off, I covered the top. Glovey? What are you British? Why did you? You call it a glovey. It's a glovey, a glove box. A glove compartment. A glovey. A glove box. compartment. A glovey. I say glove compartment, but glovey. The language exists to put ideas out there. It's so not like you guys were like, works. what's a glovey? No, but we, it was gay. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was mad gay. It's gay, yeah. sure, but it's we understood. It's gayer than eating your own. You knew what I was talking about. The, the, yeah. the, the passenger side car box. You would also know what I mean, right, fuckface? But you'd be like, what are you talking that way, yeah. you asshole? My, yeah. I actually like that. The passenger <laughs> car side box. Excellent point. Excellent can, you, point. Can, you, can, you, can you get my napkins so I can jerk off out of the but passenger side also, car the cubby box? Wubby womb room? <laughs> but you understand <laughs> glovey yeah. is short. Can you? The glovey, can you, the glovey wavy. Can you get my cubby bubby? Can you open the dirty box for me so yeah. I get my... My napkins. Dirty box. Timekeeper. We have 10 minutes, minutes, Joe. Relax. Well, relax. Right. What is your problem, dude? I'm making sure this boy gets to his He's movie. fine. He, what do you got? You got to leave at 45, right? Yeah. Yeah, but the, yeah. 
But right, dude, everyone's putting it on me. Hold on. This is what's going to happen. Everyone's going to yell at me and write to me, you fucking piece of shit. What they don't know is Nobody's writing we were to you. scheduled yeah, at, one, true. Who's writing at 145. We were supposed to start. People I got here this. at 130, People and we did. started at 205. People did this to me for being the timekeeper when it was it was given to me, and I was that job. That's why he's putting it on me. He's going, hey, he's got to go. But Dan also wants to go. And we have the big boss man coming in at four. Big boss. And Who the fuck is the big boss man? Well, owns Bob. the building? Yeah. No. Do you think that Gnome is my boss? Well, he owns this building. Do you think he I care say... who owns this building? Do you think I care about who owns any building Why I ever you... walk into? No, Lewis. The owner, that's kind of your whole energy. Whatever you're Jew owns whatever you're building. I, I... We get it, Steve you're Jobs. You're the strongest. Yeah. Okay. yeah you're you call Gnome my boss. You, all right. Don't get mad at Dan. Why did you get mad at that? Why are you getting mad? If you know him, you'd get triggered. <laughs> yeah, why? the truth. <laughs> yeah. Had I known him. <laughs> Had I known him, you're going to be such a bitch. <laughs> uh, Lewis is heated today. I, I am on one. You're on one. You came in. Buddy, you just uh, came back from a great trip with your kid. You need a drink. No, you don't need a drink. A lot of drink. You don't need any drink. What's <laughs> wrong with you? Right no, here. you don't need That's nothing. Right there, we're fucking dude. Two jar. weeks off the booze. Chug Come Chug some whiskey, no, you pussy. Stop being a fucking loser. What are you talking about? Because he's not going to fight you, you f***. He's going to fight me. That's two games. <laughs> <laughs> two games? I like that. Um... <laughs> I moved. We're done. You're officially moved. We're moving in. Yeah, all the shit's out, out of the of house. Bil- out of Biltmore, dude. Gone. Uh, don't give my fuck. We don't live there anymore. It's not Biltmore it's not anyway. Biltmore either. Built- so then there's no problem. No. It's eight gone. Bit no, more. I'm still there for two days, you fucking piece <laughs> of shit. Just I'm just going to read. Yeah, but the people. <laughs> so what? When people are going to go, they're going to look in your go window. Go look at it. Like, <laughs> the, old, like the Steve Jobs house. Yeah, you're not Jim Morrison's grave. <laughs> people aren't going to fuck on your lawn because Bobby <laughs> lived there. Yeah, they'll take I, uh, road trips up yeah, there. Yeah, we're done. We, here's the problem. We, we hired their you're moving built company. Done? But they could also look up now how much that house was just sold for, so they know way too much financial information about Bobby. That's true, though. But if you're going that far. Bleep it. Uh, bleep it. No. Uh, no, bleep it. I don't want those fuck. I don't want to be fucking docs anybody. Just um, DM me. I'll give you the address. And I'll honestly, like literally just with that information and his name, I bet you could find out his new address. I mean, you like, can if you DM me. We uh, <laughs> yeah, we sold. We we got rid of every. I mean, it was weird though. I had to cut down all the the zip line. Yeah, I mean, you've lived there for since ten, Max was a baby. Ten years. Bobby's like, I had, a, I, had a, I, had a, I had to unblow up my hot air balloon. <laughs> it just I had to get wonder. rid of all those little bodies I had in the backyard. All those. Well, we, What'd you do with your garden? It's still there, but there's nothing in it. Damn. We had to empty the shed. Everything's everything's gone. That, everything's done. It's weird to walk through. Now your, that you're moved your out home. Can I tell you, what? your your bathroom, the guest bathroom that's right there by the kitchen. With the with the door. I hated it. Dude, I hated it too. Hated with it. the with the barn door sliding. Yeah, door. it was fucking yeah. done. And the whole oh, family. that was retarded. Yeah, that yeah, was crazy. Stupid. I never said anything about that. Yeah, it was terrible. No I, sliding door. Why? A, Why? I walked by privacy. I, I, I had to walk. hold it when I pooped. <laughs> Say Ben and Jerry's too fast at Max's birthday. <laughs> to do this party. to shit at Bobby. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was worried that Keith. This terrible. was pre-stroke <laughs> Keith, so he still had a strong grip. I was worried he's going to open that door and see. I, I, I walked by one one of the barbecues and Amy was peeing in the bathroom and I. I oh. saw her. I felt terrible. Yikes. Yeah, now that you're moving, we can just say all those parties sucked. Yeah. No, those parties are great. Yeah, those parties were fuck you, dude. Who throws parties like that? Nobody has. Steak tips. Now Lewis does once in a while. But that's yeah, it. Who throws parties like that? You didn't like the party? They were good. I'm just saying, it's not like you, it's, a, it's an eight year old's birthday party. It's not like, oh my but, God, like, oh, yeah. who throws parties like that? Yeah, hey, P. Diddy. Are you, first of all, first of all, <laughs> we're at a first party. of all, there's 18 no. comics in a backyard. What what you, what you got? We, had, we had what a, got two coolers of Sprite. We kicked everyone out by 5P. <laughs> Dude, it was a pretty unremarkable afternoon. You're fucking crazy. My parties were great. What, you gave ice You're cream? on record. Good. You're on record for saying like the parties were great. Great. No, for like a kid's I, party, it's good. It was a yeah, fucking it wasn't the high high can't say who throws a party like that. Uh, that would just imply that it's it was like, a great fucking. I party. went to a party on Tony Hinchcliffe's yacht. Do you know how much better that was? There was whores everywhere. There was no children. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a that great sounds party. pretty cool. My parties were fucking great. What are you talking about? Yeah, whatever. Well, you didn't like the parties. They're okay. All right. Well, fuck I prefer off. a Central Park hang. 
No, you have party sucks. You're, you're, yeah. you're, it's you're fucking, you're crazy. fucking Hold on, guys, time That's out. not even a party. Your guys, party sucks. Quiet. Your hobo meetup. <laughs> yes. In the park. Your stupid balloon bashes. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what. When we all go tits up and we have to go meet up for a hot meal in Thank the park. Thank God. Thank God I threw parties. My hey. parties will fucking blow your parties away. I'm glad. Tell By me. the way, my parties are better than I've never thrown a party because I didn't make people go to the <laughs> my, fucking park. Tell park, me the park story party. from one of your parties that's better than the story of Lewis arriving and us saying that guy yells at the playing <laughs> frisbee and then Lewis. Lewis stands over him. We throw the frisbee. I'll tell you, when Lewis got naked. I did go skinny Lewis, dipping. Lewis got naked at my fucking 80-year-old neighbor's pool that yeah. let us use the pool for my party. Yeah, yeah. And he got naked and they took his clothes and he ran down the fucking driveway nude uh, in my neighborhood. As one of the people that took the clothes? I remember that. <laughs> that was a great party. What about Jason Canner picking up a woman's handicapped child? What? That's funny. That's not funny. That's fucking also, disturbing. Do you understand that the way that story is told from their perspective is that a man picked him up in the park? It wasn't at a party. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's a, fucking you, can't weird. Call, you can't call, if you don't own the walls, and there further, are no walls. if there are no walls, yes. there is no party. Yeah, oh, at least I like, my bathroom this is, has a door. On, this thought, is your Steve Jobs thinking, what if there are no walls? What if we got rid of walls? Well, we build our own walls in our mind. Dude, you had a gathering. Bomb. You had a fucking gathering. You had a balloon also, gathering. There was like 12 people. That's not a party. Yeah. It was like 30. There was a blanket. Bob, you had no snacks. Dude, Bobby had a grill going. Dude, I had fucking if steak dips shipped in you, from Boston. And you make people bring things to a party. I love it's steak inherently dips. a shit party. Nobody Nobody brings should ever anything. bring anything. I no, actually, we should, we should, you should, I should, you I should bring stuff and you should go. It's not necessary, I, but I do it anyway because that's what I Anybody who said, what do you need to bring? Nothing. Where do you bring yourself. I like putting yourself over in the story. My party's When you threw your first party, who cooked? Who barbecued? Well, you, I, 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 called it, I called it a barbecue. Yes. At, when you, I was like, dude, I'll fucking, I'll do it. And I taught, I was like, dude, do this, do I, that. I told him, I was like, watch what this loser is going to work for me for free. Yeah. And I who still reminds it. you that he did you that favor 20 years ago? Every day of my life. It was life. six years ago. Yeah. Not even five. Yeah. No, I, I'm just saying if you make people bring, like everyone's got to bring a bag of chips or Stupid. beer. Like that. I don't make anybody do anything. I go to the you hot have, brought, It wouldn't be a party. I, Otherwise, would be showing up to a party. Buddy, I brought the food. Me and Don brought so much food. Every There was nothing there. We brought it all. Bobby but happened to just have a satchel of food. <laughs> he goes, hey, get the I park have, food ready. <laughs> we do it different now. Oh, well, How do you do it? The worst. It doesn't matter. You guys aren't invited. Good. I, oh, I don't get to go to the park? Ha, find the balloon By the way, the you can't not invite yeah, me it's Central to the park. park. You don't own the no, park. We can I'll just come. come. I'll, I'll have my, guess what? Rival party. Oh, let's do it. I'll put it right in the center of your party. Yeah. Well, no, whatever. I got a son. My son's birthday's coming up. Are you going to go to the park? Yeah. yeah. First birthday. Oh, he's not going to resent you growing up. <laughs> Dude, I had, I had a fucking, for the kids, my party was the shit. I had magicians. I had face painters. I had fucking a, a blow up yeah, big they wouldn't amusement do blackface. park. I had, I mean. That's true. They wouldn't do blackface, Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, a couple people. They would. You needed the code. <laughs> <laughs> it was Steve Jobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You all right, Dan? Yeah, I was burping. I you had a heart again. attack. That's coming. No, I was burping. What? You're fine. Mm? Mm. What'd you say? <laughs> what are you most story. nervous about physically? Heart attack. Heart attack. That's the yeah. one. What about I the just throat know, cancer? Because here's the thing. Uh, both. I just know if I die from a heart attack, it's just, it's just going to make sense. Well, heart attacks suck because it's like, Gah! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. A lot you of had guys, a heart attack? A lot of guys die in their sleep with heart attacks. That's kind of Kevin Meany. That's nice. Just passed away in his sleep. That's kind of nice, though. But that, no. That you ever get that story about the guy who was having a, a dream about a lion chasing him, then he had a heart attack and died in his sleep? Mm -mm. How do you know he was having that dream? That's the fucking riddle, bitch. I gotta go. What? Oh, can I tell <laughs> a great riddle. street joke? You wanna hear a great street joke? I wanna hear it. Yeah. This is good. That's a great like... riddle, though. But what's wrong with this story? That's an old riddle from yeah. when I was a kid. Hey, folks, this episode is also brought to you by Lucy. Lucy is 100% pure nicotine, always tobacco free. Lucy isn't like every other nicotine pouch company that's owned by Big Tobacco. They're like a mom and pop shop of pouches. Pouches come in a variety of strengths from four milligrams all the way up to 12 milligrams. Mm. Lucy offers a unique variety of flavors, including apple 
Double Ice, Wintergreen, my favorite, Mango and Espresso. And also, if you're not a pouch guy or gal, Lucy Gum is also available in 2 milligrams, 4 milligrams, or 6 milligrams. And you can set up a subscription where it comes right to your door, so you don't have to keep on going back to the gas station to buy your pouches. They have so many amazing flavors. This You see everyone using pouches. Bobby, you yeah. use them. You love yeah, pouches. You I love them, Lucy. Right I, lo I actually love them, and I love the uh, the the actually different uh, variations of the strength, which is yeah. like the 12, I like the 6. Maybe after dinner you want a little bit of a hotter one, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You, so let's level up your nicotine routine with Lucy. Go to lucy.co slash regs, that's R-E-G-Z, and use promo code regs to get 20% off your first order. Lucy offers free shipping and has a 30-day refund policy if you change your mind. That's Lucy, L-U-C-Y dot C-O, and use the code REGS to get 20% off and always free shipping. And remember, Lucy products are only for adults of legal age, and every order is age verified. Warning, this product contains nicotine, and nicotine is an addictive chemical. All right, where were we? All right, you guys ready? Yeah, okay. Dan, Dan, don't. So there's a lion. So this lion says... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> to get to the other side. You guys know what I'm saying? <laughs> the lion, he's running. He's in the jungle. He sees a, a rabbit or whatever. A, a, a rabbit a in the jungle? There's no rabbits in the There's jungle. There's no rabbit in the jungle. You're a fucking non-man. a warthog. <laughs> he sees a fucking... Like a, a warthog. A, a warthog. hyena. A warthog. A hyena. Zebra. Zebra. He's, he's, not, he's, not, he's, not, he's not hunting. He's not hunting a hyena. <laughs> and he says, how do you... He's chasing. No, then it's a zebra. He's not chasing a hyena. It's a zebra. It's a zebra. It's going to be small. A warthog. A warthog. A warthog. And he says, how do you wipe your butt? He runs, he chases in the hole, and the hole is so small he gets stuck. So Hold on, ass, wait a minute. Warthogs don't live in holes. Don't in holes dude. <laughs> All right, he's chasing a rabbit. No, it's There's not a rabbit. The this is crazy. There's Dad. no rabbits in the jungle. Are there jungle rabbits? It's There's a snow. That's racist. Right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What, you saw like, like a cop from the couple jungle 70s. rabbits just moved in. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I moved in. <laughs> it's just just be part of the world. Bobby can't yeah. they can't know where he lives. Sorry. Yeah. It's part of the world, okay? He chases a thing I can't. into a hole. All right, chases so. an animal. He gets stuck what's, with what's, his ass. What's a, what's an animal that lives in a hole in the jungle? Real quick, just chat GBT it real quick. It's pretty quick, guys. All right, he chases that. Plug it, we'll plug it in after. He chases it. His ass he gets stuck in the hole, his ass is sticking in the air. Lewis is gonna miss the fucking bit. His ass is sticking Wait up in the air. Lewis. He's stuck. He can't get in there. A gorilla comes around, comes oh, by. Oh, a couple porch no, no, rabbits. No, no. Stop. <laughs> the gorilla. Porch Stop. rabbits. Porch rabbits. The saying. gorilla <laughs> sees the lion's ass exposed. He's stuck. And he's going, help me, help me. And the gorilla unzips his pants. He has hey, pants? Wait, 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 wait. Pants. He has pants. Oh, Joe. Come on. I, uh, look, we're going to let the rabbit exist in <laughs> this jungle. This it's a joke. The gorilla has pants. We can't fuck fuck okay, ready? Hold on, hold on. It's going to be viral. An animal that lives in the jungle that often resides in a hole is a pangolin. Pangolins okay. are burrowing animals. He's chasing that a penguin, okay? And, uh, pangolin. No, no, no. That was also the, what they said. COVID. That caused COVID is eating a pangolin. A, a, drap, a bat dripped into a pangolin. And then they ate the pangolin. It digs holes and lives in the ground primarily mm. in forested areas, including jungles. They use their sharp claws to create these burrows, which serves All right, go as their from homes there. to provide pangolin. pangolin. Just start over with a pangolin. Yeah, go ahead. He sees a pangolin running. <laughs> right? He chases uh, after the pangolin. Where's it the go? pangolin runs down the <laughs> hole. The Stop. lion is so fired up, he smashes in the hole. He's stuck. The gorilla comes. The gorilla takes off his gorilla pants. Can I just say? Starts fucking the we lion. We don't even need for him to have pants. He can just start fucking the lion in the pants. We Why does he have to take the pants, the pants off? Of he, he takes his dick out. All right, takes his, his dick he's is out. He's, his he's dick a gorilla. Is out, trying to make this realistic. Yeah, his dick is always out. He's got out. no pants, okay? You happy? The yeah. gorilla has no pants. Uh, he's, yeah. he's got oh, basketball yeah. shorts. He just takes Whatever. No, no, no. no. He's got fucking no. A no. That's racist. That's racist. That's actually racist. That's racist. I didn't mean it that That's way. That's racist. Or, you know, whatever. <laughs> he takes his dick out. He starts pounding the lion. The lion's in there going, I'm, I know it's you, gorilla. He didn't say I'm that. I'm going to get you. He's going like this. He goes, I'm going to fucking kill you. You know I'm going to get out here and i'm gonna kill and i know just the gorilla you are you fucking piece of shit the gorilla pulls out he comes all over the lion's back he takes off running because he knows this lion's gonna get out and the lion can kill because he's the king of the jungle so he's running <laughs> he runs up to a guy camping in the jungle why not let it be this is all let above it be. board. everything is above board except for him saying i know lion no, the that, guy they spoke their own language so this guy is is camping. He's reading the paper. He's got his reading glasses, a little campfire, and a cup of tea. All works. And the gorilla goes, get out! And he's scared. And the guy goes, ah! And he runs away. So the lion picks up his hat. He puts on his hat 
and his reading glasses no. and the newspaper. <laughs> no, he not sits down in the chair. Pause it. Pause yeah. it. Wait, the lion does or the gorilla? Wait, the, so lion, the lion does. The lion oh, or the, the gorilla? The gorilla. The gorilla, the gorilla. The gorilla, the gorilla lion. does. So sorry. The gorilla. Yeah. The gorilla. I, think, I think Joe's lying right the now. The gorilla <laughs> scares the guy. I don't think this ever happened. <laughs> he puts on the gorilla. Joe, puts is this a true hat, story? Puts on the hat, puts on his reading glasses, takes the newspaper and covers his face with it and waits. A few minutes later, the lion, all dirty and furious, comes up. Cum on his ass. Cum. He's got cum on his back, And blood he comes bleeding. over and he goes, hey, have you seen a gorilla run through here? Dan, what does he say in real life, though? <laughs> the gorilla lowers the paper and looks over his reading glasses and said, the one that fucked the lion in the ass? And the lion says... It's in the paper already? <laughs> That's good. That's good. That was good. It's a strong way to close this episode out. Uh, oh my God. We, we got there. That was good. Pretty good. All right. I like breaking down jokes literally like they couldn't happen. That should be a new bit, Joe. You have to bring a new joke like that every week, and we have to figure it. out what's wrong with the joke. I love it. That's great. Well, there you go. That's the episode. We'll see you guys next time on The Regulars. The regulars? Huh? The regs. The regs. R-E-G-Z, motherfucker. I love Steve Jobs. Town Hall. November 8th, November 9th. Big fan. Boom, boom, boom. Punch up. You on punch up, Lou? Boom, nope. boom, you on punch boom, up, Dan? Boom. Yes. Punch up rule. Hey, that was nice. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Subscribe. Okay. Sexual. Like. Re review. Yes. See you later. Bye. <laughs> 